Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn about image formation when light from an object passes through a convex lens. To understand how convex lens work, we need a ray diagram. Drawing a ray diagram is very easy if we understand how different rays will act, means which rays will bend and which won't and how much a ray will bend, will it pass through a particular point like focus etc. A convex lens is a converging lens. So rays converge after going through the lens. While drawing the ray diagram, we need to be careful about few points. Optical center O, center of curvature C and the focal point F. Because the type of image a lens would form depends on the position of object with respect to lens, we will start with large distance and then bring object closer to the lens in each scenario. Let us take some examples. The object is placed at infinity, that is at a large distance from the lens. Draw multiple lines parallel to the principal axis and they will pass through the focus after passing through the lens. Why parallel to principal axis? Because object is at infinity. So in this case we get a real inverted highly diminished image like a point on the other side of the lens at focal point F2. Now let us place the object beyond point C1 but not as far as the previous case. So in this case draw a line from the top of the object parallel to principal axis and it will deviate and pass through the focus. Draw another line from the top of the object going through the optical center O and it won't deviate, it will pass as is. Find up the point where both the rays meet and we will get a real inverted diminished image on the other side of the lens between other focal point F2 and center of curvature C2. Now let us place the object at the center of curvature C1. Draw a ray from tip A of the object passing through the optical center, it won't deviate and another ray from point A which is parallel to principal axis and it bends after refraction and it passes through the focal point F2 after refraction. So the two rays meet at point A dash. A dash is the image of the point A. Here we get a real inverted image of the same size on the other center of curvature C2. Now radius of curvature is twice of the focal length. So C2 is equal to 2 times F2. So C2 is situated at double the focal length distance that is 2F distance. So if you measure the distance in terms of focal length the object is at 2F distance and the image is also at 2F distance. Let's bring the object a little closer. When object is placed between focal point and center of curvature we get a real inverted magnified image on the other side beyond center of curvature. If we place the object at focal point, we actually don't get any image. As we can see here, rays wouldn't meet after refraction as they are parallel. It means if we extend them backwards, they wouldn't meet. So neither we get a real image nor a virtual image. So as we are bringing the object from infinity closer to the lens, the size of the real image formed on the other side of the lens is increasing, right? But if we place the object between focal point and O, we get a virtual image which is erect and a magnified image. As we can see here the rays are coming from the tip A moving after the refraction. But here we don't get a real image. We need to extend the ray backwards and we get a magnified virtual image. That's why we hold magnifying lens closer to the object to get a magnified virtual image. So this is how the table looks like for the convex lens depending upon where the object is. That's all for now. Bye-bye.